Hi all, I'm back again today with another video on the E46. Uh, today we're going to be removing the rust free, free fender off of the parts car so I can use it on the 03 that I have outside. Um, this is a pretty straightforward uninstall. Um, there's a few things you got to watch out for. The main tools you are going to need is a 8mm socket. I've got a couple different lengths here, a 10mm. Um, I'm just using a couple different ratchets because it's easier to use the smaller one inside the uh, door jam there and then a few different pry tools I'm just using some uh, Some flathead screwdrivers and then you also need uh, An ice pick is what I would call this because you need to use it to uh, punch out a couple of the clips So we'll get started on that. Um, the first thing you need to do is remove the inner liner so there's a few bolts and some clips so these Three clips need to come out. Uh, you will do that with the ice pick like I showed you. So here, I'll start with those ones. You basically take the ice pick, put it in the middle and push, and it'll push that center piece out. If you saw that, it'll push it into the inner fender. Actually, mine just fell out down here. So once you actually get the liner out, you can remove these out from, they'll be sitting down here or they'll fall out like mine just did. And then once you have that out, when you pull this, um, once we get all the other bolts out, this will pop out with it. Um, so other than those three clips, you have a few up here. So you've got one here, you've got one up at the top, and then you have one up here. And then there's a few here that hold the, I think two, yeah, there's two that hold the front part of the fender. Um, you could remove it with it. I think it's easier if you just uh, undo these bolts and remove this separately. And there's one more here. And then there is one more down on this side as well. So in total, five, six, seven. Um, so I'm going to get to work doing that and then I'll move to the next step. One tool I forgot to mention that you do need is you need a T30 Torx um, because to get the upper bolts across the top in the engine bay, you need this to get these off. Okay, so I now have all these bolts undone all the way around. Um, and I have also pushed out the centers of these clips. So when this does get pulled back, these will pop out. Now you have to go underneath the vehicle just under right here and undo a few clips. So I'll show you that. The vehicle, there are two clips you need to undo to pull, to pop off the side skirt because the inner liner goes underneath it. So there's this clip here and an identical one just a little bit further back right in front of the jacking point. Um, to do these, you have to pry out that center piece and then the rest of it will come out. So you just kind of take a screwdriver or a little prying tool like this and pry out that center. You can see it's starting to come and then it will pop out. So I'm going to do that now and then show you the rest. All right, you can see the two pieces are pulled out and now with these are just sitting in here. You can pry them out now. They would... Yeah, you can actually just leave them because when you pull on this fender or on this skirt, now I'm going to do it and show you. So when you just grab this and pull it out, they will pop out. You just have to pull pretty hard. Don't be afraid of it. There, see that unclipped up there. Pull it down. That unclipped there, there's two white clips that it unclips from up here and then actually you have to pry those out so you just have to pry these little pieces out now and then uh, this will pull out of the way for you to be able to pull the um pull the inner liner out from underneath it. okay now that i have those two clips out i just used a smaller screwdriver to start it and then used a bigger one to get the leverage off the bigger one and pull, pop them out they just look like this they may or may not break on you um this one partly broke and then this whole entire fender liner will pull away and the inner skirt will come out. Next, there are a couple bolts you need to undo. Um, I move over here and you can see. So under here, looking, facing the front, from the back here, there's one bolt at the back of the plastic. So the liner ends right here. This is a bolt, it doesn't really look like it, but it is an eight millimeter. An eight millimeter fits on the little shoulder there. And then there is also one more eight millimeter right here. You have to undo that as well. And then there's also two other bolts you have to undo. 
up here I'll show you. So these don't actually hold the liner in, but there's this plate underneath the engine, um, which this plastic, try and show you, the plastic comes around and it actually wraps around this bolt here. It's a 16 millimeter, um, which doesn't take too much effort to pull out. Pull that one out. And then you also have to loosen off the next one. That's a 60 millimeter as well to allow this to flex down a bit to pull the plastic. Another bolt I forgot to mention, right where this plate is underneath the plastic liner. If you look back here, it is very hard to see, but right up in there is a small little eight millimeter bolt. Um, there you can see it there. So I'm gonna get a wrench in there and uh, pull that one out as well. And as you can see, I've started to pull the liner now. Um, I start by underneath here, just unclip it from anything. So I pulled this out from underneath this. And then there's another piece over here which goes underneath another piece of the car. So just slowly pull it out. You see mine already kind of has a big hole in it, but just try not to crack it. That was there previously. And then I move up to here. And then these clips here that we never took out, um, just carefully pull and pull it out. So that's all disconnected now. And then your next step is the fender liner is kind of grabbed by the edge of the fender here. So I'm going to start to kind of slowly pull it out of that line all the way around, and then you'll see it come out. Now it's out of there. Um, basically what I had done is I pulled this down to kind of pull the entire thing away from this lip that it sits underneath. And then uh, you can pull it out of that lip and start pulling this way. Again, that was after I undid that one last bolt that I forgot about, which is a bit of a pain to get to, but you will be able to get it. You'll just have to kind of flex this with your hand a bit as you do it, but it will come out. So next you have to start undoing the fender itself because you, well, the reason why we had to pull that off was one, to get it out of the way, but two, there are some bolts in here that hold the fender in. So there is one right here. Um, there are 10 millimeters, and then there's one all the way in there. And then there is also one that holds it up here. You can see that there. And there's one in the door jam. So I'll show you that one as well. If you look in here, don't have a crazy amount of light right now, but up in there is where there's one bolt. So I've gotten the three bolts out from within the wheel well um, to get this one and to get the one that's deep in in the wheel well. This is my tool setup. I just took a, um, a half inch drive into a reducer into a quarter inch, three inch extension just to get the length. And because this is a thinner um, drive, it's a lot easier to actually fit this onto the bolt in the engine bay there and here because the door is partly anyway. So undo that and then we'll move on to the last part. So for these Torx bolts up here, there is one, two, three, four, and then there is a fifth one under this piece of rubber. You just pry this little piece out from its spot and lift up the entire piece of rubber and it's under there. Be very careful with these. Um, I'm gonna actually spray them with a bit of a lubricant before I undo them because they are in there pretty tight and they are a shallow head. So you just push down a lot and uh, just be very careful and controlled with it. I'm gonna demonstrate how I did one of these. Um, it is actually a lot easier if you use a breaker bar and then put all your weight down onto it, grab the end of your breaker bar and just slowly pull and you'll hear it actually sounds like it breaks. It's a loud noise, but it does come loose. Um, I've done that for those four and I will do it for these last two as well. Now your entire fender is ready to come off. Um, you just, it'll be stuck in there a bit. I've already undone mine and pulled it a bit. You have to push it forward a bit because it clips to a rubber piece up in the front here. So just push it forward so it unclips it from that. There we go. And then you also just have to undo your wire for your marker light here, which just pulls right off and the fender is off. Set that down here. That is all for today's video. Um, I needed to take this fender off because my other one is pretty rotten. So it will go onto the other vehicle. And yeah, that is all. Uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time.